day i'm not gonna lie i've woken up feeling like crap got a bit of a sore throat i've got a headache but i don't think i'm getting ill i think i just spent the whole night grinding my tea and i'm also really lacking in energy today so maybe i actually am getting ill but who knows so starting off the day with a coffee of course i'm really excited to bring you guys along the day and show you what i've been eating recently because i've really started to focus on like the foods that i'm eating and making sure that i get a properly balanced diet that's especially high in protein because i eat mostly vegetarian and i never get the protein in but i've spent the morning giving the kitchen a little clean it's still very messy you've still got a few bits to put away but yeah good morning happy tuesday it is coming up to 10 30 so it's time for my breakfast you guys know i always eat breakfast kind of late i don't like to eat as soon as i wake up and my go-to breakfast currently is scrambled eggs on a bagel thin i have not had chocolate porridge and strawberries i want to say since like the start of June, so it's been like two months since I lastly had it. But honestly, I just haven't been in the mood for it and I'm loving scrambled eggs currently. It's just a really good way to get my protein in like first thing in the morning. I'm trying to eat as much protein as I possibly can and I've always been a big bagel fan. I've just had a parcel turn up and it is from Abercrombie. I feel like Abercrombie, Hollister, those two kinds of shops have had such a big glow up like i was a hollister abercrombie kid but they've both definitely improved their brand and their clothing i mean i absolutely love it now and i loved it back then so it's a win-win for me but i've heard great things about abercrombie jeans so i thought that i'd order a few i'm not gonna lie these jeans are very very pricey they're 75 pounds a pair which as a girl who normally gets her jeans from primark is a bit of a stab in the chest but I'm only going to keep one of them. I'm going to try them on. They're all part of their curve range. So you can basically buy your true size and not have to worry about it being really tight around like your bum and thighs because they add a couple of inches in. Am I meant to have a patch on the back of that? I'm not too sure. But like this will fit my waist and then there should theoretically be more space in that kind of area because i always have such issues with jeans i can never find any that actually suit me that i like the look of on my body and i always have to belt jeans and i do feel like sometimes a belt just ruins the vibe but i always have to do it because they're just so big around my waist i'm not gonna lie i think these actually could be a little bit too small i've got them in a size these are a 26 i have a 25 inch waist so they should be okay, but they do look pretty small. I guess I've just never seen some jeans like this. These are quite a blue pair of jeans. I'm not really sure if I'm obsessed with that colour. But I'm going to film a TikTok. So if you guys want to see how they fit, then hopefully there'll be a TikTok. If they don't fit me at all, then there won't be a TikTok. But hopefully they do. And there'll be a TikTok showing you guys what I think of them all. I just, that is so small. I don't think it's going to fit. For lunch, I've got a bit of a snacky plate. I have a pita, some cucumber, cottage cheese because it needs to be eaten so I might can just have it with this. Some hummus and I've also bought up a galaxy cake bar. And you guys will be super proud of me because I've really hacked the water drinking situation. This is my second bottle already so I've had a litre of water and all it took was me to actually pay attention to all the times on this bottle. This bottle is from Amazon. I can link it in the description box. And I never used to think that the timings would actually help but it's actually yourself a little goal and you just try to obviously drink it by the time it has. It is now dinner time. If you hear some typing in the back it's because my mum is working behind me and Aiden requested sticky tofu and I made this recipe last week and it did not go to plan but it, it turned out okay like I just don't think it was how it was meant to be as per the recipe so we're going to give it another go today still don't have all the ingredients that's just because I'm underprepared and yeah so I've just got some broccoli currently on the stove stove the hob <laughs> and we've got some tofu you're meant to have extra firm tofu we only have firm so it's gonna be probably more like a scramble like it was last time but it all tastes the same anyway i've cut the tofu up into slightly bigger pieces well actually quite a lot bigger pieces than last time because it as i said it just literally fell apart last time so we're now going to coat it with something i love how i'm doing this like a tutorial like i actually know what i'm doing i've got this recipe from tiktok so i'm literally just going from tiktok measurements so we're going to do 
two tablespoons of flour because that should help crisp up the tofu, I'm told. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. And then we just give it a good mix together. This is normally when it starts to break up, which is not good. Actually, whilst I'm doing this, I'm gonna go heat some oil in the pan. This is what the tofu is currently looking like, not appetizing in the slightest, but I'm gonna go pop it in the pan and try it. I'm gonna try and keep it as PC as possible. And whilst that is frying off, we're gonna make the sauce. Now, the sauce was the issue last time because you have to use ketchup. And last time it just tasted of so, oh, so much ketchup. So I'm not gonna add in as much as I did last time. I'm also missing ginger this time. So I feel like that's probably gonna make quite a big difference. But again, two tablespoons. I'm actually do three tablespoons of soy sauce because I don't know if it's just this ketchup maybe, but it's very strong. Look how cute this little maple syrup bottle is. We need two tablespoons of this. I'm gonna give it a little mix around. I'm also missing sesame oil, but I'm gonna add some sesame into the tofu to give it a bit of a toasted sesame taste, I'm hoping. It actually tastes a lot better than last time, but I am gonna add in a little bit of this. This is what it is. I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce it because I don't think it's gonna go well for me, but I'm only gonna add in like half a teaspoon just to give it a little bit of something. Otherwise I just find it could potentially be a little bit bland. That tastes actually really good now. This is actually looking so much better than last time. You can actually see there's like little crispy bits and it smells really good as well. what the finished dinner is looking like. It honestly looks so much better than last time. Spring onion with it is an absolute must as well. I've got some broccoli. I did also want to put some peas in the tofu, but we didn't actually have any. And we've just got some sticky rice, Aiden's meal, my meal. I'm very excited to eat it. so fill up after that dinner but your best bet i have i will have room for dessert i'm just letting it melt a little bit it's the mars ice creams this ice cream and the malteser one but it has to be the malteser three balls ice lolly are genuinely the best ice creams ever i haven't had one of those malteser ones in so long now you can only get them from like shops where they sell singular ice creams it's only quarter to six though like we've had to have dinner so early this evening because aiden has a football game like he's already gone he literally in and out through the door i mean i could have waited to have dinner later but i just feel like dinner heated up is never as good also that dinner would be so much better if you could cut up the tofu really small because in that way like the whole thing will get crispy and i'm such a texture girl and tofu is just like there's just like nothing to it so i think at least if you could like really crisp it up then it would make it a lot better but it actually tasted really really good i feel like i'm probably gonna end up having a cup of tea later because i'm gonna be either bored and want something or we'll get a little bit not peckish but in the mood for something i just went into the fridge and remembered that we have some cherries and i absolutely love cherries so i've just given them a wash and I'm currently snacking on them but i'm just about to make aiden's breakfast and lunch for tomorrow normally we do it together but it's obviously at a football game so i may not do it now otherwise we'll be doing it at like 11 o'clock tonight so for breakfast every morning aiden has overnight oats we normally do two maybe three of these in advance but he had his last one today so we just put half a cup of oats into some Tupperware. This is what we are currently working with. Nothing fancy here. Aiden is then a bulk protein kind of guy. I'm more of a my protein, but Aiden loves this chocolate malted honeycomb protein. So I put a scoop, whoops, a scoop of that in each of the bowls. Bowls, Tupperware, whatever pots. <laughs> then give it a little stir just to break up the powder because it gets it's a little bit tricky once you add liquid and then i put probably just over half a cup 
of milk into each honestly i just kind of see how it comes together and sometimes it needs a little bit more because you've got to remember that oats are obviously going to absorb the water overnight i also sometimes if i'm feeling generous give aiden my outpro chocolate milk but i can't be bothered to open a new one right now so he's just got normal milk otherwise it's normally very chocolatey for some reason this protein powder smells like halloween candles that you get in home sense i really can't explain why but it just does. I then just added whatever fruit we had in the fridge. Normally it's like bananas, raspberries, blueberries, but I just checked the blueberries and they're moldy even though they actually go off tomorrow. So Aiden's lucky and he's getting some strawberries. So two mornings of breakfast and meal prepped for him. And then for his lunch, I'm just gonna make him two rolls. He's had wraps this week, pasta. So I feel like it's time for a simple, easy roll. The last thing I'm going to have this evening is this, it's, I guess it says a juice shot. That is a lot bigger than a shot. I think this is from M&S, only because of the I'm new symbol. It looks like an M&S one, but it's from the juice company. It's Mango Gut Health Juice Shot. I mean, I don't think anything inside of it sounds horrendous. It says it's got apple, mango and coconut milk with baobab, dried fruit pulp and live cultures, high pressure processed juice drink. We can give it a go and see how it tastes. I'm hoping it's not horrendous. It smells like mango with mud. What does it taste like? It kind of tastes like, I don't know. Imagine you wash your veg and then you drink the water. It's kind of how it tastes. It's really not that bad though. We do also have a ginger one downstairs and I'm just like not the biggest fan of ginger so I will not be having that one. I'm always the worst with shots because I just hold them in my mouth. I need to realise I should just swallow straight away. Oh, it's actually from Aldi. This is Aldi store as well. That is an m and I'm new dupe. And on that note, I'm going to love and leave you guys. I hope you all enjoyed a good old what I eat in a day. Make sure you subscribe if you aren't already. We're on 97,000 subscribers, guys. And like my wish in life is to hit 100k eventually one day. It's taken us a while, but that's okay. So if you aren't subscribed, make sure you do. And I just see you already see you in a new one. Bye.